back, everybody. This is Eric from Moss Pond and Gun, and uh, Odin's Raven. <laughs> Good thing I have my revolver. I hate clowns. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the LG 305 uh, Crimson Trace Laser. Um, this is a really neat uh, rig. This particular one is set up on a stainless steel uh, older uh, Model 36, 38 Special, five shot revolver, a good solid gun. Uh, this is a J-frame revolver. These grips will fit just about any J-frame revolver. I've always been a very big fan of running laser grips on revolvers because, you know, usually a snub nose has just a short uh, radius in terms of your sights. Um, you know, a laser can just really give you that added edge in a low light situation that you need to make sure you get on target. So uh, we're going to shoot this thing a little bit, see how it does. All right, the ammunition that we're going to be using today for all the testing is going to be Privy Partisan, uh, 158 grain cast. So we're going to go ahead and uh, do a slow fire group just to see kind of where the sights are hitting and test our accuracy here. I'm going to take my time and uh, try to sling them in there double action. All right, we're gonna try five more shots, same spot, uh, just to get a little bit of consistency. Um, one word on revolver etiquette. Um, when you're holding a revolver, hold it like this with your fingers through there, and that way you can use uh, you know, both sets of fingers to manipulate the cylinder while you load the gun. I see a lot of guys at the range and they're doing this number with the revolver swung open. That's not correct. When you close it, push on the uh, crane, index the cylinder, it's ready to shoot. All right, we'll see how we did. All right, well, we had a little bit of a, you know, nice patterning right there in center mass. A couple that I could have pulled. I mean, there's no telling. Um, you know, it is a snub nose revolver, so it's not like you're going to, you know, like punching clover leaves or anything. But uh, anyway, that gives you some accuracy potential or at least some promise. Um, as a defensive gun, I mean, you definitely would have hit your target each time, so it's not like you would miss or anything. Um, let's try some a little bit more rapid fire, you know, uh, quick follow-up shot type uh, shooting with it. And um, I think that the sights would have to be brought up a little bit on that laser, but um, that's not too bad, because I believe at longer distance, that regulation will actually provide for pretty much a center mass hit at like 20 yards or, or so. Um, so I think the closer in you get, the lower the point of aim gets, and the further out you get, the higher it gets, if I'm not mistaken. So um, let's try that. and. Uh, Probably let Chad have a go on it a few times as well. That'd be a dead clown right there at close range. All right, well, I'm going to take a few shots with the uh, Model 36 here, just slow fire at about seven yards, and see what kind of accuracy we can get out of this setup with the LG 305. Good shooting, Chad. It's like slow fire, put them into about a two inch group at this range, which is plenty for defensive purposes. It's all a little gun like this is meant for anyways. Pick up the pace a little bit there, but definitely be one dead clown. All right, so Eric and I grew up in the 80s, and you know, we hate the clown from It. We just despise him. And this reminds us a lot of him. So let's see what we can do with a little rapid fire with Model 36 here.
Good shooting, Chad. I don't think he'll be bothering anybody else anytime soon. I've always been a big fan of double action revolvers. Um, yeah, I grew up shooting a lot of 1911s, double action revolvers, everything like that, a lot of single actions. And uh, you really can't beat a snub nose revolver for a defensive situation. You always know it's gonna work. You know it's loaded, you know it's ready. There's no safeties to mess with. You just pull it out and shoot it. You know, a lot of people discredit lasers. Yeah, I can understand a little bit where the stigma lies with lasers. Lasers are a great training aid. They can save your life, but they are not meant to substitute proper training behind iron sights, okay? Now, in a low light situation, the iron sights on this gun would be non-existent. You wouldn't know where to aim, unless they're right on top of you and you can just point and shoot, Jack Ruby style, um, that, you know, really the laser is gonna save your life. And that's what it comes down to. Um, lasers are meant to aid you, but they're not meant to be a crutch. You still got to be able to shoot good. You still got to be able to transition, pull the gun. You still need to know your condition of carry. You still need to carry the same way. Remember uh, me and Barry's video about consistent carry. Make sure you carry the same way all the time. You draw the same way, develop muscle memory. And uh, if for whatever reason or the highly unlikely reason that you ever are in a gunfight, you'll come out on top. So thanks for watching today and I hope you enjoyed our video.